What's it up, baby? Y'all didn't know it is the big boss, how boss dog K Po through the door here to talk to this box. What's good with y'all, man? Just got home from work, man. Um, y'all know me, I'm not the first to report on nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a busy man, but we're gonna do a post fight reaction on the Joshua versus Usyk. Um, shout out to Usyk. Um, I knew Usyk was gonna win. Um, but let's talk about the fight, man. I'm not gonna really go into full round by round. All I'm going to say is uh, Joshua, to me, fought stupid this fight. Um, he did a good job of hurting Usyk in round nine, but I, in my opinion, he gave up his height a lot. Um, he should have kept Usyk on the, at, at the end of his punches. He should have jabbed the shit out of Usyk. God forgive me. He should have jabbed Usyk. He should have jabbed the hell out of Usyk. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I feel like if he would have did that, he would have had more control of the fight. He would have made Usyk reset. Things like that. Usyk wouldn't be able to get in the rhythm. He should have threw a lot more jabs. But the problem is I think he didn't have the conditioning um, to do that. And um, that's what I think. I feel like he got tired. Um, he got tired and I feel like he was fighting on fumes and grit. And when a fighter gets you like that, especially in the, in, you know when you're at the elite status, you, you, your chances of winning are slim. I say you can't win, but your chances of winning are slim. Um, I think that J Joshua, more of the story, should have just fought a smarter fight, in my opinion. Do I think he should have boxed Usyk? No, because Usyk's obviously the better boxer. Um, I think what he should have done is been more well-rounded. You know what I mean? He just would have, he should have, should have, he, he would have had to fight a perfect fight against Usyk, and he didn't do that. Um. You against Usyk, if you're a bigger man, you got to mix it up. Unless you just got Deontay Wilder power, where you hitting him with one shot and that boy obviously getting stunned. But against a fighter like Usyk, you them one shots ain't gonna work, bro. You know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put stuff together, but you gotta keep him on the end of your punches. You know what I mean? Look at what Devin Haney and, and Devin Haney's in a smaller weight class, but look what he did to Cambosos. He threw more jabs more than anything. You know what I mean? He threw other stuff, but everything was off the jab. You know what I mean? And when you get in these elite matchups, it's the basics sometimes that's going to catapult you. You know what I mean? You may be able to throw a no-look uppercut or no-look left hook against lower competition. But when you get in these high-stake fights, it's the basics. It's the day one stuff that's going to take you to the next level. You know what I mean? That's going to make you a champion. A lot of people don't think of it like that. They looking at, oh, I'm faster than this dude. I can throw a lot of punches and I can do this. I can, I'm big and strong. I hit hard. No. You know what I mean? You got to be able to go back to that day one stuff. When you're in these elite fights, when you're in these fights where all everything's on the line. You know what I mean? You got to go back to the day one stuff. And I feel like Joshua didn't do that this fight. Um... Now, I'm not here to talk about the stuff that happened after the fight, um, you know, with Joshua, you know, that's, I wasn't there, I don't know, um, I really don't care, but I've been seeing videos, they saying, like, Joshua should retire, because nobody's going to want to come see him fight and all this other stuff. One thing I know about British fans is they going to forever support their fighters, so, I don't think that Joshua is done. I do think Eddie Hearn screwed his career and here's why. Anthony Joshua, when he had the opportunity, should have fought Deontay Wilder, period. End of story. Eddie Hearn screwed that up because Anthony Joshua now could have had a little bit of leverage and said, hey, I fought this guy. I fought this guy. I fought this guy. Even Luis Ortiz. Anthony Joshua avoided fighting Luis Ortiz. It's stuff like that that you think about and you kind of lose respect for a fighter. You get what I mean? And it's bad because I don't think it's Anthony Joshua's fault. Anthony Joshua is just following the blueprint of Eddie Hearn and, and Barry Hearn. But at the end of the day, I don't think he should retire. I still think those fights are for him. Anthony Joshua got to do now is take control of his career and be like, forget Eddie Hearn. I'm going to go sign with Showtime or whatever, 
or I'm gonna represent myself, Anthony Joshua Promotions, or I'm gonna have an advisor, whatever he do. But I think that he should get away from Eddie Hearn because there's still big fights out there. I've said this in a Wilder, you know, when Wilder's coming back October or whatever. I said, man, Wilder, there's still big fights out there for him. You know, Wilder could fight Andrew Ruiz. Wilder could fight Anthony Joshua. That's the same thing. Said Anthony Joshua got Wilder fights. A potential Tyson Fury fight. You know what I mean? Uh, these up-and-coming heavyweights that's making noise. Like, there's fights out there for him. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to see him in there with, you know, all them British dudes. I don't know their name. But, um... There's still fights out there for him, you know what I mean? And um, I think the fight for him, you know what I mean, since he's not a champion, Wilder's not a champion, is Deontay Wilder. We could finally get that fight. I think that fight will make a lot of money in America, you know what I mean? Um, these dudes, you know, they, they've been linked to each other for so long. So why not make one big bang, one big payday, you know what I mean? And uh, fight, you know what I mean? Um, I think that that's, that's the next big thing for both of them. But like I said, Wilder, he got a little bit more options than Joshua. You know, I think Joshua, could, like I said, could fight um, uh, uh, Joe Joyce. You know what I mean? He talking. Wilder could fight Joe Joyce. Wilder could fight Andrew Ruiz and Joshua. Joshua could fight Wilder. And Joe Joyce, you know what I mean? And Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz, he he been linked to uh, Joshua too. So, I mean, Wilder, you know, he already, we already know what happened with Luis Ortiz and Wilder. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, those are fights that still can be made. They still can do a lot of great things in boxing. You know what I mean? So, um, that's my take on the Joshua-Usyk uh, fight. Um, my thing for Usyk, is the last belt for him to get is Tyson Fury's WBC belt. I mean, Tyson Fury, he'll retire one day, and then he'll he not retire the next day. I don't know what that man doing. But at the end of the day, I want them to push to make a Tyson Fury versus Usyk fight. I do want to see an undisputed heavyweight champion in the world. Um, I don't know who win that fight. I mean, we of course, we all can say Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury can box. But I think Usyk is the better boxer, in my opinion, out of the two. Although he's a smaller man, I think Usyk has more in his arsenal than Tyson Fury. And I think Usyk has more in his bag to beat Tyson Fury. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Um, but, that you know, those are fights that, you know, true boxing fans would, would like to see. Not everybody want to see it, but... You know, I would watch it. I'm not going to lie. I would watch an Usyk versus Fury fight. I definitely, but I do think a bigger fight out of the heavyweights is Wilder versus Joshua. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss gone.